What are the purposes of area classification? The purposes of area classification are Selection of electrical equipment Consideration of all sources of ignition Permits to works Access of portable equipment What is meant by hazardous area? Hazardous areas are defined as any place in which an explosive atmosphere may occur in quantities such as to require special precautions to protect the safety of workers. What are the examples of a hazardous area? Examples of hazardous areas are gas wells, tank vents, sump vents, gas processing plants, gas-fired generators, etc. What is a non-hazardous area? A non-hazardous area is an area in which an explosive atmosphere is not expected to be present in sufficient quantities to require special precautions. What are some examples of a non-hazardous area? Examples of non-hazardous areas are control rooms, administrative buildings, etc. How many hazardous zones are there? There are three hazardous zones. They are also known as explosion-proof zones. What are the three hazardous zones? The three hazardous zones are Zone 0, Zone 1 and Zone 2. What is Zone 0? Zone 0 is the area where an explosive gas atmosphere is present continuously or for long periods, over 1000 hours per year, or frequently. Example, tank vents, sumps vents, drains, etc. What is Zone 1? Zone 1 is the area where an explosive gas atmosphere is likely to occur in normal operation occasionally, 10 to 1000 hours per year. Examples, pipeline flanges and inlet manifold areas. What is Zone 2? Zone 2 is the area where an explosive gas atmosphere is not likely to occur in normal operation. But if it does occur, it will persist for a short period only. 0 to 10 hours per year. Examples, welded pipelines where there are no flange joints. Why is it important to have hazardous zones? Hazardous zones are established to protect people and equipment from the risk of explosion or fire due to the presence of flammable materials. What are the safety precautions that should be taken in hazardous zones? Safety precautions include using explosion-proof equipment, properly maintaining equipment, following safe work practices, wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, and following emergency procedures. What are the specific requirements for electrical equipment used in hazardous zones? Electrical equipment used in hazardous zones must be specifically designed and certified for use in those areas. It must also be constructed to prevent sparks and arcs that could ignite flammable or explosive materials. How can the risk of explosions in hazardous zones be reduced? The risk of explosions in hazardous zones can be reduced through proper ventilation, regular maintenance of equipment and machinery, and training employees on safe operating procedures. What kind of equipment is suitable for use in Zone 0? Only equipment that is specifically certified for use in Zone 0 is suitable for use in this area. Examples include intrinsically safe equipment and flameproof devices. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. IIQA